snakes. What is long and round and slides on the ground? What can be fat or thin and has dry, scaly skin? What has a tongue that flicks and eyes that can't blink? For goodness sake, it's a snake. A snake is a reptile. Lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are reptiles too. All reptiles have tough scales. A snake has stretchy skin between its scales. A reptile's body is always the same temperature as the air around it. To warm up, a snake lies in the sun. To cool down, a snake moves into the shade. All reptiles have bones inside their bodies. Some snakes have more than 1,000 bones. Snakes all around. Snakes live in fields and forests. They live in deserts and oceans, too. They even live in city parks. Snakes can live almost anywhere. Most snakes live in warm places. They stay alive all year long. Some snakes live in cool places. In the winter, they hibernate. Most snakes hibernate alone. Some snakes hibernate in large groups. Snakes and more snakes. In warm places, mother snakes usually lay eggs. Then they slither away. They do not take care of the eggs. Most snakes lay 20 or 30 eggs. Large pythons may lay up to 100 eggs. After a few weeks, the eggs hatch. The young snakes look just like their parents. In cool places, snakes usually grow inside their mother's body. A mother snake lies in the sun to keep the little snakes warm. Most mother snakes give birth to between 5 and 20 little snakes. A puff adder can give birth to more than 150 snakes at once. Imagine what it would feel like to have all those tiny wigglers inside your body. A snake's body never stops growing. Sometimes its skin gets too tight. Then the snake needs to molt. The snake rubs its head against a rock. The skin splits open. Then the snake crawls forward. Its skin can peel off in one long piece. It's like taking off a sock. Most snakes molt three or four times a year. On the move. Most animals have legs and feet, but not a snake. Scoots help a snake move forward. A python crawls forward in a straight line. Its belly muscles push its scoots against the ground. Scoots can't grip desert sand. A sidewing adder has to throw its body sideways to move forward. A garter snake curves its body back and forth. Its scoots push against grass and rocks. Super snakes. There are about 2,700 different kinds of snakes. The heaviest is the green anaconda. Most poisonous, beaded sea snake. Fastest is the black monda, mamba, and smallest is the lesser Antillean thread snake. Snake senses. Snakes use their senses to escape from danger. Senses also help snakes hunt for food. Snakes with round pupils hunt during the day. Snakes with long, thin pupils hunt during the night. Some snakes smell with their noses, but all snakes smell with their tongues. Their tongues are split at the tip. This helps them know if they should go left or right. A snake's ears are deep inside its head. Sound travels through a snake's bones to its ears. 
Some snakes have heat pits. They can sense the body heat of other animals. Heat pits help snakes hunt at night. Where's the snake? Most snakes are hard to see. They blend in with their surroundings. Hiding helps snakes stay safe from predators. Hiding also helps snakes catch prey. There's the snake. Some snakes do not hide from predators. They have other ways of staying safe. Some snakes play dead when an enemy gets too close. A spitting cobra sprays its predator's eyes with poisonous spit. A coral snake is full of poison. Its bright colors warn predators to stay away. Some snakes hiss at predators. Others rattle their tails. A western hooked nose snake pushes air out of its back end. The farting sound travels up to six feet. Snake snacks. Most snakes eat about 30 meals a year. Snakes catch prey with their sharp teeth. Many snakes have more than 200 teeth. If a snake loses a tooth, a new one quickly grows in. Cobras, vipers, and pit vipers have large teeth. They are called fangs. Poison flows through the holes in a snake's fangs. Some poisons stop prey from moving. Other poisons kill the prey. Most snakes catch small animals. They eat mice, frogs, fish, and birds. These snakes eat their prey live. They stretch their mouths wide open. Then they swallow the animal head first. Pythons, boas, and rat snakes can eat large animals. They coil their thick bodies around their prey. Then they squeeze it. A large python can easily kill an antelope. Snake pets. Most snakes are not dangerous to humans. Snakes eat mice, rats, and insects that we do not want in our homes or eating our crops. Snakes are an important part of our world. Some people like snakes so much that they keep them as pets. Did you know snakes are ticklish? And they are cool and dry and soft. There's nothing else quite like a snake. The end. Snakes. Hello, snakes. Snakes are animals called reptiles. They live all around the world. Snakes have scales that cover their bodies. They do not have arms or legs. Snakes can be big or little. All snakes have forked tongues. Snakes eat meat. Some snakes eat mice and frogs. Other snakes eat deer. A baby snake comes out of an egg, or it is born live. Baby snakes grow up by themselves. Snakes like to lie around in the sun. Then they look for food. Goodbye, snakes. The end. Snakes on a train. The conductor takes the tickets as the snakes all slither on. The tracks are checked. The whistle blows. It's time to move along. Yes goes the sound of the train.
The train leaves the station as the gears begin to grind. The sweatshirt pulls the handle, the cars slide down the line. Sss goes the sound of the train. The brake snake stops the train. There's trouble in the back. The flagger waves the signal flag. The train stays on the track. Sss goes the sound of the train. The train is in a tunnel. It's dark as night inside. Sss goes the sound of the train. The train races down the hill as the snakes pretend to fly. A view from high as fish swim by. Sss goes the sound of the train. The day is coming to an end. It's time for snakes to find their dens. As snakes slither off to sleep, the train rests for the night. Snakes wrap themselves in little balls and tuck their tails in tight. Goes the sound of the train. The end. The Greedy Python. Half hidden in the jungle green, the biggest snake that there has been, looped back and forth and in between. The giant snake was very strong, and very, very, very long. He had a big, huge appetite. His belly stretched from left to right. He quickly gobbled in one bite all animals that came in sight. A mouse that hurried to and fro, a frog that jumped up from below. A bat that hung from his left toe, a fish that swam a bit too slow, a bird that flew a bit too low. A porcupine still half asleep, a monkey who was in mid-leap. A leopard sitting in a tree, a buffalo who came to see. An elephant, complete with trunk, was swallowed in a single chunk. I am too big for you, he cried. No, you are not, the snake replied. At last the python's meal was done, and he lay resting in the sun. The animals inside of him began to jump and fly and swim. And when they all began to kick, the snake began to feel quite sick. He coughed the whole lot up again, each one of them, and there were ten. He soon felt better. What is more, he was hungrier than before. He had not learned a single thing. His greed was quite astonishing. He saw his own tail, long and curved, and thought that lunch was being served. He closed his jaws on his own rear, then swallowed hard. And disappeared. The End